Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. One needs it in order to practice for the exam. It has seven real exam, an excellent source to get ready for the exam. The problem that I'm about to solve is the, is the one that appears in exam number two on page number 207, quantitative comparison question number nine. Let's take a look at it. It says three ships X, Y, and Z. You, you must have the book in front of you. Turn to page number 207. You must have the book in front of you. Read the problem with me. Because I do not have a luxury of putting the entire, entire problem uh, on the blackboard. Three ships, X, Y, and Z, are near the equator. Oh, I'm very touched. X is, X is 8 miles due, due west of Z. All right. So let's pretend this is my Z. And X is, X is 8 miles west of Z. Now for those of you, I don't know about you, maybe maybe you don't have this trouble, I, I, I have this trouble all the time of remembering uh, where the directions go, where is, where is north, south, east and west. And for that, I have, I have a little mnemonic device that I made up. I'm not sure if I made it up, maybe I copied it from somebody, I don't remember it. But anyway, if you, if you cannot read my handwriting, this is M N E. I hope and pray to God that I spell it correctly because I really suck at spelling. I think it is correct. Uh, if you do not know what the word means, look it up and learn it. Mnemonic is just a memory device. Uh, it's something that you make up to remember something. So here we go. The way I remember where east goes and where west goes is that if you were to write west, if you were to write west, W E S T, you see, W is on the left, so it goes here. And E is on the right, so it goes here. And for the north and the south, if you if you if you think about alphabet, which letter appears first? N or S? N appears first, so it goes first, and then appears south. And that's all. I hope it made I hope it made any sense to you because this is how I this is how I keep uh, keep things straight. And I still get lost. Anyway, that's a different that's I don't want to go go with my life story right now. And people tell me to buy the GPS thing and I don't, I don't know. One day I will I will buy the GPS, but for the time being I don't even I don't even know how to spell the GPS. So I'm not a technology kind of guy. Anyway, let's look at uh, let's take a let's take a look at the problem here. X is eight miles due due west of Z. So I know west is this way, eight miles. So between Z and X is eight miles. So far so good. And Y is seven miles due north of Z. And the north is up there, so seven miles, and here's your Y. What is it that they want you to compare? A distance from X to Y, distance from X to Y, let me erase this part here. So again, if you write west, W appears on the left hand side, E appears on the right hand side, and north and south, you just write them in the alphabetical order. North goes on the top, south goes on the bottom. You would think that the that's uh, people would a person would know which way is north. You know, north is uh, up, but sometimes I mess it up still. Anyway. So they want you to compare the distance XY. versus 9 miles. What should we do? Now, you do not have to waste your time, you do not have to sit there, you do not have to sit there and waste your time doing out the Pythagorean theorem. You could if you wanted to, you could if you wanted to sit there and do 7 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared Oh, let's not call it x because this is x right here. Let's let's call it uh, let's call it d squared. D for distance. 
you could sit there and figure out the exact distance between x and y and then determine whether it is more than or equal to more than or less than or equal to 9 but that will be a sheer waste of time these questions are not called quadrative computation which is why it's crossed out is they are not computation it's all about comparison all you have to figure out is whether it is more than 9 or less than 9 or equal to 9 well that's very very simple 7 squared plus 8 squared 8 squared I know is 64 this is 49 and how much is that I don't know how much it is but this quantity 50 plus 64 I know for a fact that is more than 81 if it's more than 81 if it's more than 81 it's more than 9 therefore the answer is A that's it I only have to compare it against 9 I'm not interested in I'm not interested in what it is all I'm interested in is how does it compare with 9 this quantity d square has to be this quantity has to be more than 81 because 50 plus 64 okay how did I how why did I say 50 because it's 49 huh? so I made it 50 50 plus 60 is 110 and I made the 60 just to keep it simple 50 plus 50 plus 60 is 110 that's more than 80 this quantity is bigger exactly what it is I do not care I do not want to know I do not need to know I could care less about it the answer is a the quantity in column a is bigger end of the story don't waste your time sitting there figuring out the exact value if you're doing that you're still not getting the point of the exam the point of these questions quantity to comparison question is not to compute thing is to compare things all right I hope you found it helpful if you wish to get hold of me uh, for personal private tutoring or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to any of these questions here uh, or if you wish to talk to me about any other aspect of the GRE please go to my website at www.preppor4gre.com and send me an email. Alright, thanks.